Emperor, my dog, what's up? Execute Order 66. All right. Leave no Jedi alive. Well, I mean, it's going to take a little Execute bit. Execute Order 66. Well, yeah, it's Order 66, but... No excuses. All right, you want to kill all the Jedi? We'll kill all the Jedi. All right. Hey, Master Yoda, what's going on, buddy? Party tonight. Come, will you, 8 o'clock? Uh, 8 o'clock? I'm free at 8 o'clock. I can, I can go at 8 o'clock. Bring chips. You will. I gotta bring the chips again? Come on now. Can't Mace bring the chips? Traffic on Coruscant he is in. All right. 8 p.m., no later. I'll be there at 8. Lord Vader, what's going on, buddy? I trust you are working on the Jedi. Yeah, we're taking care of the Jedi for you. Do not fail. Peace out. Welcome to the Printed Prop Shop. I'm Michael. So I hope you liked the little opening sequence there. Just something I kind of wanted to play around with. But today we've got the hologram from Kenobi, actually, and from the original trilogy. So this little guy right here, I made this, oh, about two years ago. I designed it, and uh, the only thing I didn't design was the actual Emperor. And it came out really great. The only thing that I had was, for one, it didn't really look like the prequel ones, um, for one. For two, I ran the wire up through the Emperor himself, so it kind of gives more of that illumination to it. So, and believe it or not, this moved completely across the country, and it's still in one piece. Even the Emperor was connected still, so I was really surprised about that. So I was really happy when Marco released this uh, this design over at Mystery Makers. Now his electronics are a little bit different. He, he includes the instructions on how to do that and things like that. Um, mine, I just used a simple, the same simple LED light that I had laying around. It's a little light kit. And to me, it works just as well. It, it illuminates. The only thing I need to do is I have one little LED back here that I do need to go and cover or uh, paint over or something like that. But it seems to be doing well and it gives that illumination that I'm looking for to really kind of brighten it up. I also made, as you saw in the little clips there, some interchangeable little figures that I can sit on top, Yoda, Vader, and the Emperor, and they give great illumination. There's Vader. I have a little trouble with Vader sitting on there, but anyway. They illuminate, he did a great design, and I'm getting ready to show you how I did it. Here it goes, enjoy. So let's just take another moment here and uh, admire the artwork that Marco has put together here. He also included a couple different options on how you could stand it or just hold it. He even included uh, the actual battery type that would be able to fit in there with your electronics and uh, how you would print off your resin piece to go on top. So really quick here, I'm just gonna go in this briefly, but uh, I'm using my Monoprice Mini here, my other resin printer, and I'm using Chitto Box with it. These two are uh, the ones that I wanted to print off in a different color resin and I'm using clear resin and I'll show that here in a minute on how I actually mix all that but that's why I'm printing these individually I did have some left over so I did go ahead and print off the antenna legs and uh, he gives a couple different options for these antenna legs I went with the individual options to kind of connect them together I thought they fit a little bit better I did go and uh, scale them uh, a little bit smaller for the connecting pieces just because of what I've had in the past, if you've seen any of the other videos, to where I found that if you scaled them a little bit different for the connecting pieces, you would fit a lot better. And it's not a matter of the design. Again, uh, it's a matter of just how the resin is when it, when it actually solidifies and makes that piece. Here I went ahead and uh, printed off the, the actual casing pieces on my AnyCubic. And I printed these at an angle. I found the best way that I could do it that would save me some time in sanding and trying to pick out supports would be sanding them on their actual tops at an angle. 
with uh, supports going on them. And it did come out a lot easier with that. I think I would have had a little bit more issues with it for if I printed them on their sides or anything like that. And here are my little figurines that I went through. I actually placed the top piece that they're gonna sit on on the bed here and scaled them down to there. I can tell you that's that's probably the easiest way I found with any of this. I did that this with my my actual design that I created a couple years ago as well. And uh, your scaling comes out so much better if you just have something to scale off of. I did end up removing that before I printed anything, of course. And uh, all these figurines needed some kind of support of, of some sort. I, I, the Emperor I printed the last time on an angle. And I can tell you, just printing it this way came out a lot easier if you just print them vertically. It does take a little bit longer, but as far as adhesion and things like that, it, it comes out a hundred times better. And that's what I would stick with if, uh, if I was printing these anytime. And I'll, I will stick with that in the future as well. So I just wanted to capture a little bit of this going through the supports and things like that. So I just wanted to stop for a minute and kind of show um, dyeing clear resin. So I've got my clear resin right here. Um, little thing I'll hold it underneath the other camera here and uh, what I'm gonna do is take these guys and see if you can see that on camera so well but what I kind of want to go for is kind of like a gold but there's not really I don't have a gold dye and if I do lemon lemon is just gonna be really really clear and I don't really want to do that but the whole idea is to have the LEDs kind of lighten up the whole thing and I'll paint the bottom of that piece, right? Paint it black or coat it with some foil so that it doesn't reflect down. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is take some mango and some lemon and I think the mango will probably darken it up a bit and I maybe put a little tangerine in there just to kind of fill it. Now it doesn't take a whole lot. As you can kind of see, it's already starting to change a little bit there. And again too, I want to keep it clear. So if I didn't want to keep it clear, I would just use the white dye and or white resin and dye that my particular color. I hope, I hope you can, can see on camera, it's, it's turning, it's going a little bit. Before you start filming, make sure you've got all of your dyes punctured so that you can pour them. I don't think I'm going to get a gold but I'll get something that'll at least be different color than clear or a solid. And if need be, you can always throw in another couple of drops of whatever you think that you might want to use. And I think this is, yeah, it's going to turn out the way I want it. Side note too, if you're doing a lot of resin printing, I'm finding that clear resin works a lot better to print with rather than any kind of solid color. I don't know if that's because the light actually passes through it or not, but I always have better prints or let me put it in perspective i have less failures with clear resin than i do with solid resin solid colored resin yeah i think i got the color so it's it's not exactly gold but it's not a yellow either so i think especially if you were filming it and you put a, a color grade on there it'd probably come out 
fairly cool. cool. I'm, I'm happy, happy with it. it. Alright, All let's, let's put, put it in, in the printer. printer. Now, I did have everything assembled here. I, I used my little uh, LED light kit that I'd had uh, over time from some signs I made before. And I will say, if you're going to do it this way, it will require a little trench on the top and bottom piece. But it, it goes in just as easy. I do need to cover that last LED, but I started off painting with a, a black and then I went into my silver and for the antenna legs i will say i had to do the antenna legs a little different just because of the overspray but and it just wasn't the look i was going for and i was cautious to keep the top plate out of the way because i was going to do that in silver originally i did want to have it kind of see-through but it just wasn't working out that well so i went ahead with the silver and it needed to be silver anyway from the reference pictures and I moved into my gold here for the exterior of the the actual piece and the gold went on just fine it was that greedy gold that I've used in the past didn't have any issues with it luckily I got a new airbrush in recent months that hasn't had any issues at all I then like I said I had a little issue as far as what the look I was going for with the silver that I sprayed on. So I actually just hand brushed that on. I knew I was gonna need to hand brush the silver on the actual top of the, the hollow piece anyway. So at this time when I went and went over those antenna legs, I, I ended up going and um, just, just giving them about three coats just to have a good look. And then I moved into the actual top piece or the top panel for the hologram there didn't have any issues at all it took about three coats for for max coverage but when you're brush painting you want to have the most amount of coats you can get anyway so that was what i was trying to achieve with that i did get into the uh a lot of the grooves and things like that with uh, my little brush here and i was really cautious to stay away from the actual leds because as you can see i already super glued those in and this, this whole unit was put together with super glue. It didn't have any issues as far as the super glue holding it all. So that's how I did it, guys. You can make your own little hologram. You can make the figurines. Um, I will link the figurines below just in case you want them. The Yoda is hollowed, so I think he gives a little bit better brightness to him. Or maybe more of a hologram effect because he is hollow. Um, but I'll link them below where you can find them and you can resize them and things like that make it larger smaller whatever you need to do so I encourage you to check out uh, mystery makers on patreon patreon.com mystery makers slash mystery makers and uh, go build something hope you enjoyed this video go make something go do whatever just don't sit in front of your computer or sit in front of your phone have a great day thanks for watching we'll see you next time